Epileptic seizures are dangerous, not just the major ones, but also the small, which account for the highest proportion of seizures. This is because they can lead to memory disorders or personality changes. The problem, more than half of mild seizures are not even recognized in the first place because they happen during sleep or are documented incorrectly, because until now, they have only been noted manually or recorded in smartphones. Continuous monitoring of seizure sufferers is only possible on an inpatient basis via video EEG monitoring. This involves a permanent recording of brain waves. So there is an urgent need to use alternative devices. There are already so-called detectors on the market, but they focus exclusively on generalized tonic-clonic seizures, i.e. the grand mal seizures. We therefore came together as a group to develop a device that focuses on the detection of small seizures. The result is the startup Monokit sensor device, which consists of three components, the chest sensor, the ECG, similar to a fitness tracker, and most importantly, artificial intelligence. The patient gets an ECG sensor from us, it's placed under the chest, and that ECG sensor then captures various data of the heart rate variability and the movements of the patient. And that data is then transmitted to the Monokit app, which also has the artificial intelligence on it. And this artificial intelligence then evaluates this heart rate data, recognizes very specific patterns of epileptic seizures, and then documents these in a completely automated manner in an electronic seizure calendar, which then also forwards data, for example, to the patient's parents or family members, or very importantly, to the doctors, such as epileptologists or neurologists. With Monokit, for the first time, physicians have truly objective data on epileptic seizures. That is, they have a web interface where they can see exactly how many seizures, what kind of seizures the patient had in certain periods of time, how long the seizures lasted, and above all, what kind of seizure it was. With 50 million people affected worldwide, epilepsy is one of the most common neurological diseases. Professor Weber has high hopes for the app. My hope is that if we have a device like this available that is so efficient at objectively documenting seizures that I can make very stringent and very accurate therapy decisions. That is, I will dose accurately, and that is my hope. The first prototypes of the sensor device are currently on test subjects so that monokits can further optimize the results of the app with even more data. We want to make our algorithm even better. We detect just about 80% of the small seizures. Another important step is, of course, to lead the clinical trial for certification and to carry it out. And, of course, we want to aim for market entry as soon as possible. However, due to regulatory requirements, we don't see that happening until 2025. And in the meantime, we will take part in various pilot projects or public projects. We now also have a follow-up project that is funded by the German Ministry of Science. This project is called Mondai, and this consortium wants to integrate the Monokit app and the device into a smartphone-based platform where several apps can be combined quickly. And in the future, patients will need several apps. And that's where the Monokit app will be further developed too.